You know, I was speaking to a brother recently who recently he's developed a, 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 I would say an addiction, I think that was his own words, to Netflix. So this entertainment, and this is what many kids are being brought and raised up on now, this entertainment thing. And I used to think, I used to think that the biggest evil from this is wasting time. That you've basically spent an hour, two hours of your day just watching this and you've just wasted your time. And then I realized later on in life that actually this, this is a huge problem, but it's not the only problem. Exactly. It's the fact that as you're watching it, you're impacting your heart. That when the Salah comes, it's actually harder for you now to get up and pray. It's harder for you to just open the Quran. Amen. And this is something even outside of Islam, they talk about the dopamine effect. Sir. Have you heard of that? Sir. So even like the, now doing something like reading a book or reading the Quran even, it suddenly isn't as entertaining for you because your dopamine levels have become so high that you've been so used to consuming content online that now when you open the Mus'haf after three minutes, four minutes, you're like, ah, I need to do something else. Whereas that was never the case before, before this entertainment. If you actually protected your heart, protected your eyes from, kept away from this entertainment, you'd find leather in reading the Quran. You'd, it, this would be your entertainment. You'd enjoy it. You'd be able to do it for hours and hours upon end. That's true. It goes to the ayah, Alam yani li ladhina amanu an takhsha'a qulubuhum li dhikri layin. وما نزل من الحق ولا يكون كالذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبل فطال عليهم الأمد فقصت قلوبهم وكثير منهم فاسقون اعلموا أن ما الحياة الدنيا لعب وله واعلموا أن ما الحياة الدنيا له يعني آخر الآيات but the point that concerns me is فطال عليهم الأمد فقصت قلوبهم يعني it, the matter became lengthened for them they got distance from the Quran for so long so their hearts right. became tainted they started to what يعني, it affected their hearts and they that's how that's how it became يعني, if you look at the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said to the man who said ya rasulullah as'aluka murafaqatak murafaqatak fi al-jannah he said oh, messenger of allah i want to be with you in jannah mm-hmm. the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam he said fa'inni ala kathrati sujood help me and aid me and support me by coming with so much sujood in other words some, be consistent in what you're doing يعني. Yeah, these, these 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 shows that people watch online, back to back, people are watching series after series, yeah. episode after episode. And you know what? Something something greater that, that, that they miss out. They don't realize that the enjoyment that they get from that, they could find it in Islam. Allah. Like uh, Sheikh Al-Sabi Ibn Taymiyyah, I believe, who said that there were two genders, right? There's the jannah in the dunya, the jannah in the akhirah, Sahih. and the one who doesn't experience the jannah in the dunya, he won't experience the jannah in the akhirah. That's true. Sahih. Meaning, as as I understood it, and correct me if I'm wrong, that when you have Islam and you're worshiping Allah correctly, you're worshiping Him alone. There's a sweetness that's attached to that. Yeah. So you actually experience happiness in this world before you get the ultimate yeah. happiness in the next. This can be found within Islam, but unfortunately, people f- look for it elsewhere. You see what it is, you know. If you're used to drinking fizzy drink. And you cut off from it for, for a long, long time, right? Speak from experience, are you? Yeah, yeah experience. <laughs> and then you come back to it again. Yeah. That same drink you it's love. It's, it? Yeah, it's like, what, was that? Was I actually drinking this? Yeah. The taste buds come back. Things go back to normal. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, so true. And, but that, but 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 that that time you're drinking it, you're addicted to it. Yeah. You're like, I can't stop this. Is how am I gonna ever stop this? Yeah, so true, Allah. And that's what happens when the dikr of Allah Taala. Ta at the beginning, you're going to be like, no, but I've tried it. Read the Quran. I don't find the joy because mm. your taste buds are gone. Your taste buds are gone. But if you stay upon it, stay upon it, stay upon it, get past that initial difficult period where you think that, then the sweetness comes. Yeah, yeah. Allah but, gives it to you after the initial hardship. I know, because the heart, you, you've really basically corrupted your heart so much. Yeah, I need to the extent you're like trying to drink honey from a dirty cup. You can't taste it. Yeah. yeah, the honey is sweet. The honey is sweet. Uh, but it's your cup. It's the cup, yeah. You, you, it's not a clean cup. 